Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate in these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are risen from the dead. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are reigning forever. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will return in glory. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May the Lord forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which, through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again. We earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith we may possess in unending love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose up and all his companions that is, the party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison, led them out, and said, Go and take your place in the temple area, and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught, when the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin, the full senate of the children of Israel, and sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in prison, so they came back and reported, We found the jail secretly, securely locked and the guard station outside the doors, but when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priests heard this report, they were at a loss about them as to what this would come to. Then someone came in and reported to them, The men who you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the one who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, 
so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict. The light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not want to come toward the light so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light, so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Many times over these past weeks and a little bit over a month or so, as we're living in the midst of this pandemic, many times people will say that this is God's punishment upon us. This is a chastisement from God. And yet when we listen to the words of the scripture, that Jesus reminds us that God did not send his only son to, into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Perhaps instead of this being a condemnation, that perhaps this time is what we would call a wake-up call, a time that we have to sit with ourselves and perhaps to think and perhaps to meditate upon our past life. And you know when we meditate upon our past life, when we reflect upon the things that we did, it's not for us to feel bad. It's not for us to feel this overwhelmingness of shame and of guilt. But what it does, it allows us to bring our sinfulness to the light. And of course, when I mean to the light, I don't mean the sunlight, I don't mean fluorescent lights, I don't even mean candle lights. I mean to the light of Christ. And once we bring our evil, our sins, our wounds, and we allow the light to touch them, then we can be healed. Then we can be forgiven. Yes, this time, I think, is meant for us. This may be that wake-up call, maybe a little chastisement, but it's also a time of realizing that God has given us this opportunity to change our lives. And what do we do with this opportunity? The scriptures even tell us that there was a verdict, that the light came into the world, that we had this opportunity, this time of being with the light of God, but people preferred the darkness to the light because we don't want our evil to be seen. Now, we're not asking people to publicly profess their sinfulness, but to inwardly do it. And when we inwardly do it, and when we are able to bring it to the light, then we ask for forgiveness. Then we have that moment of conversion, what we call a metanoia, a turning away, a turning away from darkness and a walking into the light of Christ. This is an opportunity for us, a time not to be afraid, not to let the darkness and sin of this world make us fearful or anxious, but instead to allow the light of Jesus Christ and the love of God to touch our life so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life.
let us place our needs before God. We pray for the church throughout the world, that she may preach Jesus Christ crucified, risen from the dead, the Lord of life and the Lord of love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our world leaders that they will work together for the common good, to share resources so that we may comfort those who are ill. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray today for scientists and researchers that they may find a cure, a vaccine for this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who work for our protection, for those people who work in hospitals, our first responders, for those who work in all the essential businesses, may they be protected from harm. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for ourselves that the shelter-in-place ban will soon be lifted so that we may be gathered together around the Lord's table and feast upon his body in blood. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray today for those who are sick and suffering in any way, that they may be healed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, for those who will die today, may they be welcomed into the glory of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all your needs, all your intentions, that we bring to the altar this morning in the silence of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love and mercy, hear these our prayers. Grant them if they are your will, for they are made in the name of Jesus as he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands, for the praise, the glory of his name, for our good, and for the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice, hath made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know the truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and the integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. And in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the wave of peace. Peace be with you. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and I have appointed you to go and bear fruit, 
fruit that will last. Hallelujah. And let us make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you now sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from the former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. All under earth thy scepter claim. All in heaven above adore thee. In infinite thy vast domain. Everlasting is thy reign. In infinite thy vast domain. Everlasting is thy reign.